Hello there, welcome to my channel on chemistry lessons. This is a BTEC Applied Science Unit 5 Chemistry and we're looking at naming alkanes using the IUPAC rules. So where does this fit within the specification? And so this is a learning aim A2. And if you haven't seen the previous video on the introduction to alkanes and alkenes, I suggest you, you start there first because that's going to cover these first two points. And this is one of three videos where we're going to look at naming. So this video is going to look at the naming of alkanes. And then there's going to be another couple of videos that are going to look at the naming of alkenes. And then we're going to look at the naming of haloalkanes. But first up, though, if you don't subscribe, please do. Your support is very much appreciated. Please use the like and the comment features and let me know what you think. So by the end of this video, then you're going to be able to name these four molecules here. I'm going to use these as an example and there's also going to be a task for you to have a go at, at the end and I'll put the answers up. Organic. Some basic rules to start with then. Whenever we draw organic molecules carbon's always going to have four bonds whether that's four single bonds or a double bond and two single bonds either way it will always have a total sum of four bonds and hydrogen will always have a single bond. Hydrogen only ever has one bond here. Now, when we name organic molecules, there's three sections to the name. To make this simple, I put them in three different colours. So we have something at the beginning that we call a prefix, which is usually to name any side chains or the position of any side chains. And also if there's any other functional groups, so if we have two functional groups, you may have a prefix of one of the functional groups. And also some functional groups actually come as a prefix. And we'll see that when we look at haloalkanes. So that's the prefix, the bit at the beginning. The middle bit is known as the stem, and that's the longest part of the chain. So in this example, that pent, that's telling me that there's five carbons long. And then at the end, we have the suffix, which is usually identifies the functional group. In this case, ain. So because this video is only going to look at naming alkanes, we only have one suffix to worry about in this video. In the next video, we'll introduce more. So the suffix here is just "-ain", and that's telling us that the functional group is an alkane. And in terms of stem, we don't need to go past 10. And those are the different names for the different number of carbons in the chain. So for example, pent we've just seen is 5. If it was 8, we'd have oct. It'd be octane. And the prefix, I'm going to limit us to methyl, ethyl and propyl in this video, but there are numerous different prefixes we can have but we'll be fine in this video and with BTEC applied unit 5 to just stick with these three for now. I will introduce more in future videos. So methyl of a side chain is a CH3 we have a methyl prefix and there's some examples and again towards the end of this video we're going to look at drawing those two molecules there using the naming rules. So we're going to apply three rules when we name molecules. The first rule is to identify the functional group. Now we will be limited to functional groups in this unit and in particular this video we're only looking at one functional group which is alkanes so currently we only have one suffix which is "-ain". Again I will introduce further suffixes in future videos. The second rule then is to identify the longest carbon chain. Now don't make the mistake and assume that the carbon chain is the one that runs straight through the middle because some of the side chains might actually be longer or might increase the length of the chain. And we'll see some examples of that today. Third and finally then, once you've identified that longest chain, we need to circle any side chains from that chain. And once we identify those side chains, we need to name them and identify the position. The best thing to do then is to look at an example. So the first thing we must do is identify the functional group. Now we've already said here that the functional group is an alkane because the there's, there's only thing here is carbons and hydrogens. It's a hydrocarbon with only single bonds. So I've got to identify the longest chain. Don't just assume that the longest chain runs straight through the middle of the page because it doesn't have to. So I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So that could be a chain. That's a chain of four. But there's nothing stopping me with saying that's also a chain of four. Now this here would just be a chain of three. So we've got three options here. We've got the red, which would be four. 
we've got the gold which would also be four and we've got that purple it would be three so i either go with the red or the gold because they're both four now it doesn't actually matter which one i go with and to prove it i will go with both of them so i'll start with the red okay now if i start with the red i either have to number them one two three and four but you can also number them backwards you don't have to go left to right so i could go one two three four so that's a four carbon chain and it's an alkane so we're going to start with the stem butte and i'm going to use the suffix "-ain", because it's an alkane so i've now identified this part of my molecule does it have a side chain yes it does the side chain is here what is the side chain the side chain is a ch3 group which is a methyl so it's going to be methyl butane in terms of the position i've got two possibilities here i've got two options it's either two or three it depends on which way i've numbered the chain and the rule is you have to go with the lowest number so this would be called 2 methyl butane and that's if i go with the red chain what will happen if i go with the gold chain which was this one well it's still bute so it's still butane this time though i've taken account of this part of the molecule so it does have a side chain it still has a side chain which is this chain here and it's still a methyl so it's still methyl butane let's check the numbers one two three four or one two three four now i have to go with the lowest number so it's two two methyl butane which is the exact same name as i got for the red chain so just prove that it doesn't matter which direction or which chain we pick as long as it's the longest chain next example then so number one identify the functional group well again it's just a hydrocarbon with only single bonds so it's an alkane so we already know that the suffix is going to be ane now i need to identify the longest carbon chain one two three four or we could go one two three four or we could go one two three four five now i don't think i can get a longer chain than five on this molecule so i'm going to go with five being my longest chain and that was this way here again i can go one two three four five or i could have gone one two three four five it is important that we're aware that we can number them either direction so that's five so that's pentane so for the pentane i've taken account of these part of the molecules here there is a side chain look up the top here there's a side chain of a ch3 that's a methyl so this is methyl pentane what's the position of the methyl it's either three or three so it doesn't actually matter it's three methyl pentane and the long next up then identifying the longest chain one two three four five one two three four five six can i beat six i don't think i can so my longest chain is six and that was this way so i've got to number them one two three four five six and i can number them reverse as well one two three four five six so that's going to account for that part of the molecule so that's six so that's going to be hex in so the stem is hex and the suffix is in does it have a side chain yes it does 
This is a methyl side chain and it appears on either the three or the four. I've got to go with the lowest number. So three methyl hexane. Final, final example then. Right now, this is definitely a strange one, which is why I've put this in. And it might actually be beyond your unit five specification. But I think we're best off being over prepared than under prepared. So this is a carbon chain of four. But it's a cyclic four. OK, so it's four, which is but and it's an alkane, which is in. But we call this cyclo butane it's a cyclic four carbon alkane cyclobutane now, what i'm going to suggest you do for this page is i'm going to suggest you pause the video and you try and name these three yourself and when you're ready to hear the answer unpause the video okay let's start with this one up on the top left i've identified the longest chain as four so that's butane It has two side chains and they're both methyl. So I'm calling this dimethyl butane. Watch the position. I'll let me number them. One, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four. So it's dimethyl two, three dimethyl, or two, three dimethyl. So it's actually the same name. So it's two, three dimethyl butane okay let's have a look at this one here so one two three four so that's butane this time there's a methyl side chain so it's methyl butane what's the position of our methyl group one two three four or one two three four so it's either two or three methyl i have to go with the lowest number so it's two methyl butane final example then or last question down the bottom here one two three four five and be careful this one at the top is also part of the chain it's tempting here to stop at five but actually the chain continues up on the top so this is hexane and there's a methyl group on the hexane so it's methyl hexane where is it on the chain we've got one two three four five and six or one two three four five and six so it's either three or four we call the lowest number three methyl hexane last task then is we're going to do it in reverse now so we've been given the names and these were the names of molecules we saw in the earlier part of the video i'm going to suggest you pause the video you try and draw these two from the names and when you're ready to see the answers unpause the video okay so the first one then i'm going to draw my stem so pentane i'm going to draw five carbons in a row one two three four five and then there's a methyl group on the number two so i'm going to draw ch3 on that number two there and then i'm going to complete the molecule by drawing all the other hydrogens in and it's a good check at the end to make sure that you've only got one bond on every hydrogen and that every carbon has four bonds because it's quite easy to miss a bond off somewhere so double check by counting your bonds next one 2 2 dimethyl 3 ethyl pentane that's a bit of a mouthful right so pentane 1 2 3 4 5 2 2 dimethyl that means there's two methyls on the number two let's see it's three groups and there's a 3 ethyl now an ethyl we haven't seen yet although we did see it in the naming of the prefixes here an ethyl is a CH2 CH3. So it's a CH2 and a CH3. So this is quite a complex one to draw. 
Now I need to finish the molecule off by making sure all my carbons have got four bonds. Need some more space down the bottom there. There we go. So that's a CH3 there. Just making sure I'm drawing all the bonds on. That's a CH3 there. So that looks quite impressive. That's a 2,2 dimethyl, 3 ethyl pentane. But I'm just applying those rules. And that's the end of this video then. Please make sure you check out that next one on naming alkenes where we introduce another functional group.